Hey guys, welcome back. So, today we have a magnet, it's like a uh, scrap magnet for grabbing material and stuff like that. It goes on the end of either an excavator or like a, a material handler, which is designed specifically for scrap yards. So this bracket is off of the old magnet and just by looking at it without even trying it, I can see that those little uh, one inch plates, fingers on the bottom, definitely too narrow to fit inside of where this is. So our job is to pull this chain off. And we're gonna set that on there and then make new brackets to fit right in here. Should be fairly simple and then come up with a creative way to protect that cable as best we can. Most specifically on the bottom side of this flange. I don't even know what this is or where they, what this originally was. It looks kind of interesting. But you see all kinds of interesting stuff in the scrapyard and someone decided to utilize it to their advantage. All right, well, let's get these chains off and then let's get that set up there. And we'll start doing our, our CAD design, cardboard assisted design. All right, we got that on there. Looks pretty straight. We're gonna double check that before we uh, finalize it. But now you can see we just need to connect here to there. Basically, something similar to that. Hopefully it looks a little bit better than that. That kind of just runs up into there and we're just gonna leave these on. No sense in cutting them off. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna use a piece of cardboard and make our shape.
All right, so looking around for something that will hold three of these. And the best I have, I think, is this three-quarter AR-400. I don't really want to use that. So I think we're going to just go to my buddy shop and CNC cut this on the plasma table out of some one-inch. So we're going to go do that. We'll get these cut out. And then uh, get them, get back here and get them mocked up. Well, it's been a while since I posted. There's been a lot going on. My side was sick for a little while. I feel a lot better now. But here you can see, here is service truck number three. A lot of time and effort has been put into this truck. Basically, we mounted the, the body, the boxes, powder coated the welder black. The crane is at powder coat right now, being powder coated black. A lot of work has went into that with wiring, setting up PTO, everything. You can see we redid these outriggers. They've got dust on them. But everything, trying to make everything look brand new as possible. New lights, all that. So... You can see there's just projects everywhere. So hopefully I'm back to posting on a regular basis. And uh, now let's get this done. Here he comes every morning. He's super excited to come out to the shop. Every morning got to be right in the way you know lay down behind the forklift just get right in the way but that's that's what a good shop dog does you know all right here we are we're going to turn our cardboard into reality All right, we're back at the shop. You can see we got our three pieces here. Here's our template. Just kind of check, double check it. I mean, it was double checked over there, but you can see critical stuff. Hole lines up, back edge lines up. That's the only thing super critical. There's a few, few spots on here that aren't perfect, but overall, for one inch, not too bad. Got a little upset right there, but it'll work perfectly for what we are doing. All right, we're gonna get these cleaned up. We're gonna get them in there. We're gonna mark that. We'll probably clean the rust off of that, get them tacked on there, and then weld the sucker out.
All right, now we got those back in there after we clean that tube. So now we're gonna go through and tack them and then we're gonna run a little bit of welds on there to get them where they're uh, fairly sturdy. Then we're gonna pull this off and uh, weld it in position, so, meaning the welds will be flat so I don't have to do vertical welds. Um, yeah, then after we do that, we'll probably clean up a little bit and then we gotta go find some paint that matches that. It looks kinda like John Deere yellow, so we'll take this over to Tractor Supply and see what we can come up with. But let's finish this first. All right, well that worked out pretty well. And should be able to rotate this on here. I don't want to pull it too hard, but we could probably get a cheater bar in the, in that hole and then rotate it on the fork. So that'll work out well. All right, let's get to welding here. All right, so I kind of skipped around a little bit on welding, welded a little bit one side, welded a little bit the other side in hopes that the plates uh, would stay in line. So that way, uh, when I go put it back on, you know, one leg didn't like pull real hard. If you just welded, you know, one side out solid, it would definitely pull that plate and it probably wouldn't line up in there. So we have one pass in there now. Now we're gonna go ahead and do two more passes. I think three passes on that is more than sufficient. So we're gonna weld this all the way out. So two more passes on every single seam, and then we'll set it back in there, double check to make sure it fits. And then they do want this painted. Um, like I said, we're not gonna go crazy on the paint or the prep work. We'll probably wire wheel it a little bit and try to get some of the big stuff off, but you know, I'm not gonna bondo this and DA it and all that. We're just gonna get scratched up and you know that. And we still have to uh, deal with these wires, but all right, let's get this welded out.
All right, well, that's three passes. I'm gonna do that all the way around, then I'll bring you back. All right, all of our pins fit in there. So good to go on that. Now let's, uh, let's figure out these wires here. So they, the whole point of this is they grab it with a, the claw and then the, the tines come down and they grab right there where that scratch mark is. They kind of come down and grab right here. So we can't have any wires kind of going like this you know you don't want to have to like worry about the wires you just want to grab it jump out hook up your leads and then away you go you want to make it as simple as possible so I'm thinking we can uh, kind of have them go underneath this here and then they'll pop out up in the tube there up above where it would be grabbing it but from here to here, it's highly exposed, especially if you have sharp pieces of metal that are gonna reach over and drag across this and everything. And I was instructed to do not weld on the magnet at all. Okay. So I'm thinking we're gonna find something that fits inside here, like a tube, and then kind of bend it up to there. I don't know, we're gonna play with some ideas here and see what we come up with. Okay, so it turns out an inch and three quarter tube fits nicely in there. It'll be nice and snug when it gets bolted down. So now we're gonna take this tube and we're gonna bend it and make kind of an over a 90 degree bend to get in there. We have our tubing bender all set up here. And you wanna make sure your dies are clean. You don't want any debris in there when you in them. thing is sliding around too. All right, we just didn't have enough traction over there. So now we got it clamped to the forks on the forklift and hopefully it won't move.
All right, it's the next morning. We have our uh, our piece bent. I had to go to the store for the clothes to try to get that paint. And then, of course, it happens to be raining. We'll make installing this later today probably a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Definitely won't be able to paint anything in the field with it raining. So that was my original plan. So I think we're gonna paint all the bottom of this and then the top part we'll have to paint on another day. Um, but now we need to get this tube in there. So we're gonna kinda mock it up and cut it with a sawzall till, till get, we get it to fit. up with everything there <clears throat> I, I was gonna <clears throat> make that side like I was gonna weld it on but I think it would be better it'd be smarter if this piece it can, <clears throat> it can get pinched in there and then it can bolt right there so whatever to take it off or service it or anything like that it'll be really easy easy to fish new wires in there. Okay, so let me come up with a way to bolt that side. So I found this tab. I'm just gonna kind of put that on there like that. And then we'll just weld a bolt like that. I'll just kind of go through the tab right there. Let's see how that fits just like that. And it like, kind of like locks into that part right here so that'll be that'll be pretty tight in there and it should help protect this is eighth inch thick so it's not going to be you know perfect but there should just be like little pieces dragging across it all right let's get this done we can go test this thing all right and kind of see what we what we got there we'll tighten these bolts down and see what they see what it does All right, well, I think we're gonna paint. Well, hold on, I put these on. I think I'm gonna run bolts through here with nylocks instead of these stupid things that are really annoying. So we're gonna run some bolts through there. So if we gotta take this off again, it'll be a lot easier on us or whoever does it. Um, we're gonna paint the bottom and then 
put on the trailer and then take it over to the recycling center. Even though it's raining, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt because I'm going to have to do some plasma cutting and some welding in the ring. We have to have some type of a safety chain on here to where if the claws open or something happens, um, you know, if he's like swinging material way out on the top of the pile and he accidentally opens the claws, this thing doesn't just go flying into the middle of the pile and then it can't get to it and then it would rip the lines off and all that. So we have to come up with a creative safety chain connection and then we need to determine where our wires need to come out. But I don't want to do that until it's connected to the machine so I can have a really good visual visualization of um, where everything is sitting on there. So, all right, let's get this bottom painted and load it on the trailer. All right, got it painted. It's not an exact match, but it's pretty close. All right, we're gonna let this dry a little while before we uh, take it out in the rain. So uh, we're gonna clean the shop up a little bit and then go over to the recycling center. Now it probably makes a little bit more sense. All right, so now you can see how that grabs on there. We need to uh, figure out our safety chain and then uh, we can run our wires. Looks like our wires can, can come, up, come up higher, so that'll be good. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I think we're gonna do this. Again, this is a safety thing. This is not, um, you know, going to be how it's held. This is rated at 26,500 pounds. This magnet weighs about 4,500 pounds, I think. So we're just going to put one there. Then we're going to weld one right here. Like that. And then for, right, for today, we have this half-inch chain we're going to put in there. But we're going to... Uh, it's the weekend, so we can't do it. But on on a Tuesday, I think we'll you know we'll get a shackle and a chain with a hook. That way that you can just hook it, and then your suit super easy. Hook it, unhook it, and then we're gonna just kind of cut a deal for our our wires. We'll cut a spot right there, and then they go right there. And then uh, not today, but. Probably on Tuesday again, we're gonna get that heavy plastic that's wrapped around hydraulic lines, and then all of the wires from here up will have all of that. Well, all the way down the tube to there, they'll all be protected. But we don't have that today. So let's get this uh, hooked up here.
So we ran 7018, 130 amps. It's your basic stick welds, three passes. That's uh, way more than enough for that. All right, we're gonna repeat that process for uh, right there. This time it'll be overhead. All right, got our safety chain on, got our wires ran. So now we're gonna hook them up and just double check everything works. Probably gonna wait to paint um, the rest of this until it stops raining. All right, well, does the magnet work like it should? Let's see. Got some engine blocks here. Differential there. Heck yeah. I like it. All right. Well, that's going to be it. Wow, that thing is pretty strong. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.